Hey everyone, welcome back to Motor Gear Solid. This is Stealth, and I'm here with another motorcycle project build, I guess. I finished the two CBRs, the project one that I bought really cheap, and I finished my personal bike, and I ended up selling the project bike, the black bike that I turned red, silver, and black. I, remember I took all the fairings for my personal bike and I put it on there and I swapped the fairings and the gas tank and all that. Uh, there's a playlist in the top right corner, you can check out all the videos. What ended up happening was the guy who bought the project bike, the red bike, uh, his dad saw my personal bike. He's like, oh, what if I uh, offer you this? And uh, he offered me a really good price and uh, I would be a fool to refuse. So now the father and son have both bikes, which is really cool. It's good to know that the father and son have the bikes and they'll be riding together this spring. Really great guys. Uh, hopefully the bikes work out for them. I made sure to do all the maintenance and and uh, hope they have a lot of fun. And now for my new project bike, I'm tackling a traditional cruiser style motorcycle. This is a 2004 Yamaha Virago 250, also known as the XV250. This bike is still in production with Yamaha. It's known as the V-Star 250 now. The only difference with the bikes is uh, the V-Stars, they have this uh, the higher risers with the straight drag bar. I don't like that look either. I like the more of a low profile uh, kind of tracker bars. I'm not sure what they're actually known as. Cafe racer style bars. You'll see them when I get them. They're really nice. They, they look great on this bike. A lot of people have used these and I kind of can't see it any other way. This bike is super clean. Comes with the windshield if you go on the highway. Bike is really nice. The owner took care of it. It only has 8,563 kilometers. I'm not sure how much that is in miles. You guys got to do the math on that one. Use the Googles. It's in immaculate shape. The chrome is really nice. Yeah, I'm really happy with the bike. It, it runs amazing. Uh, I just don't know what else to say. I'm really happy with this bike. Even though it's just a 250cc, it's perfect for me because I'm a new rider. And uh, yeah, it's cheap on insurance. And just until I get my experience and confidence up on the road. Makes for a great project bike. I think I'm actually going to keep this bike even if I move up. It's just too fun to ride. Hopefully I'll finish the bike before the spring and uh, I'll have a lot of fun with it this year. I definitely want to change this ugly tail light that sticks out. That's horrible and take off that reflector. I'm going to change these tail signals indicators. Also going to change the front indicators to more bullet style uh, signals. I'm going to change this housing to a black housing and I'm also going to change the headlight to an LED headlight which I have. I'm probably going to remove this. I'm going to change these grips and I'm going to keep these bar ends because I don't think the grips I have have the bar ends so it'll be nice to have those since they're mint. Definitely going to get rid of this passenger seat and maybe the pegs too. I don't think I'll be bringing anyone on this this bike. I'm going to change the rear shocks to a 10.5 inch height that way the uh, the fender comes down a little bit more over the tire and hugs it a bit. Should give it a nice lower profile. Changing these exhausts, I have some exhaust pipes coming in. Right now this thing doesn't sound like anything. Uh, it sounds like a lawnmower. But with the pipes, I've heard these online, they sound incredible. I'm going to take off these uh, things on both sides. And I'm going to do the AirPods. Uh, there's an AirPod and a breather that you connect and just get rid of these. And the other side as well, I'm going to remove those. Should make the bike look a bit better, I don't really like these things. Uh, the block, I'm going to paint it black, satin black. Leave these chrome, this uh, silver. Leave the rest all silver, I'm not gonna go nuts. As for the paint job, I'm actually gonna change the color eventually. I might leave it black for now, but the tank, the fenders, and the side, uh, those side little covers, I'm gonna go gunmetal. Yeah, I'm also gonna paint the wheels black. I'm also gonna maybe paint the drum black. Not too much black. I would like to keep some stuff uh, chrome. I might leave that gauge cluster chrome. I'm gonna paint the lower fork black. Maybe the part of the triple tree and everything. When I went to see the bike, uh, the guy was a great guy. His name's Jeff. He, uh, you know, he promised everything. That bike was gonna be in good condition, and it ran. And he was gonna turn on and everything. So, so I went to see it. The battery was toast because he hasn't uh, started in a while. But he had it on the tender. But I guess the battery just doesn't hold the charge anymore. He hooked up some booster cables, and the bike started. And then he took off the cables, and it just kept running. So. I was happy the bike ran, no oil leaks, no nothing, no weird smoke coming out of the back. Everything was fine. He uh, you know, gave me a bit off the bike because of the battery and I was really happy. He's a great guy. Got a new battery, went to Canadian Tire, got this, was the only one left. So it was meant to be. So I'm going to 
put this in the uh, Virago 250 and uh, check if it starts and ride it around a bit, get the feel for it. And then tomorrow I'm gonna bring it to safety. I can transfer the plates from my CBR and put it on this bike and I'm ready to go for the spring. First thing I'm gonna do on this bike is remove the passenger seat and also uh, remove this windshield. I'm not gonna use it right now. Maybe if I go on the highway, but I don't know if it's gonna work with the new handlebars I changed them to, but if it doesn't, I'll just sell it and just get rid of it. So much better now that the rear seat has been removed oh it looks way better i love the profile of this thing but man these handlebars they gotta go this is like 1970 style early 80s style i think it does look better without the windshield that's for sure the bike is awesome and everything and it runs great i noticed it has a lot of new parts like these shocks are brand new and i almost feel bad changing them to shorter shocks i can just take them off and sell them as brand new like they literally look brand new barely used Previous owner definitely put a lot of new parts that were probably like rusting and stuff, which is fine. I, I appreciate that. I do the same thing when I'm selling a bike, so it's all good. I'm taking a lot of advice from other channels that have worked on this bike and done maintenance and everything. Like I ride Taz and Biker Bits and uh, Rabbit Squirrel Garage, I think his name is. So they've done this bike years ago and they know this bike inside and out. They've done all the work. So makes my life easier and I don't have to like spend too much money on getting the wrong thing or doing the wrong thing so it should help for knowledge so thanks to all those channels I'll link them in the description so you guys can check it out if you guys are working on this bike I'm just basically doing what they did because they improved the bike a lot especially with changing exhaust and doing a jet kit and idle adjustment fuel and air mixture adjustments and electrical everything so check out those videos and help you out with this build yeah like I'm changing the sprockets exhaust signals and You'll see. So, so every now and then I'm gonna post a video and do a little bit of work on it and I'll share any progress with you guys. Hope you guys like the new bike project. I'm actually really excited. I'm just waiting on parts. There's lots of parts here uh, that have arrived already. Like I still need some more major parts like handlebars and exhaust and sprockets. Gonna do the sprocket change. Similar to like I did on the CPR to get better uh, taller gearing. Should be a really fun project. I'm really excited. Can't wait to start waiting on the handlebars. I'm not starting this until I get the handlebars. That's the first thing I want to change. So I don't want to touch it. Handlebars, where are you? Yo, handlebars. If you want to see more updates on the Virago 250, AKA XV250, remember to subscribe to Motor Gear Solid. Please like the video and comment down below. So this is Stealth and I'll see you guys soon with another update.